Hi, Mark Savage here. And what's coming for the back of my van? Well, I think you can see. Another speedy fight. But what needs to be done on this one? Well, some different things and some ambitious plans, shall we say. Let's get it off. Okay, here we have another 2007 speed fight in nowhere near as good condition as the other one I recently had. Little bits wrong with it, little bits I want to do with it. As I said, ambitious. Let's have a quick look around it. On first view, and pretty much the picture that was on the sour site, it looks good. It's not until you uh, get to see it, it's not so good. But this side and this little bit of um, tribal decal, yeah, still quite nice. You might notice on the wonk, we've got to clear all that up. It does start first time every time, he said, but it stinks of petrol. So I'm guessing that the carb or something's leaking, hence all that on the actual engine cover is when it's leaking. So we've got to figure that one out. And the back wheel's got a lot of bits on there. It's the other side. As we come around here, we start noticing little bits with telltale signs it's been over in the usual sort of places. I'm just not sure what's happened. On the camera it might look nice, but someone's just blown it over in silver spray. It looks quite crap, actually. Little bits broken, more signs of damage. However, all in, meh, not bad. Gave him sense of money for this one. On here again. That's road salt, that is. Gave him sense of money for this little bike. Um, MOT'd. All the paperwork it needs. Let me show you what I noticed straight away though. I think. Stay. Good girl, well done. No, Millie. Sit. Little fluffy dog just walked by and that was uh, Millie wanting to go. You might notice the stand is a little bit. Go have a look at that. Now, on the blue one, the front shock. I think it's quite weird actually. Got a look at that. The front shock in that one had gone, didn't I bounced up and down? Now, I did say about the rear, and how the rear shock was good. Now, I could probably do the same as I did in the other video. Because exactly what happens when you're riding down the road. Maybe not so excessive, but you know, once you get in a little bounce, it's going to do, there's no dampener, that's just spring. Okay, and then you do get this bit where it can bounce. Can you hear that noise? The front is on the blue one. The real on this one. Now to get this off is a bit more difficult to most of you. Panels, seat out, because the bolts are right underneath where the petrol tank is. And the bottom one's really piss easy to do. But it's a little job. Someone asked me recently how to take petrol tank out. So we'll get the seat out, take the panels off, comes up, a few wires, easy done. So at least I know what I've got to do with this one. And this stand's really strange. I don't quite get right doing that. Huh, maybe a fat boy sat on it. Yeah. So, without making this video four days long, variator, usual, not going through. These rollers, oh my god. Use my scales, 9.5. 9.5. And this could have pull away. Six, it's gonna have pull away. And a nice top end. Said did 45. I reckon it will easily still hit that, but you get a much better ride out of this. All the panels off, we've done that one. I'm not happy with this lever here. That should be moved over. So while all the panels are off, I'm going to move that over where it should be, right have the gap there. It will just look a lot better. I'm going to look at the stand and see if I can straighten it in some way, shape, or form. Why it's tipping over, don't like it. All panels off. Then I can look at all the electrics, I'm going to spray them up, all the connectors, I'm going to sort out all the little bits. Wheels, I may either spray them or change them for nicer colour ones. I've got some white ones over here, probably not as good tyres on them, but I'll have to check that out and see how that goes. Carburetor, obviously leaking fuel, um, whether from the cup at the bottom or not, I don't know. Carburetor's coming off, I'm going to clean all that, clean the air filter. Rear suspension, as you know, gone. Now I've got all the panels off, we get the tank up. People have asked me that before to get the tank up. It's piss easy. Bucket out, these off, tank comes up. Easy. But we're going to get the tank up. That's how easy it is then to get to the shock. Change the rear shock. 
the bike will just ride so much better. This has got to be one of the worst variators I've ever seen in my life. I've had to use a screwdriver. Be careful not to scratch it because of roller bits. But I kept using this. This was a clean rag. Okay. Ready? Can you see that? I don't know if it's catching it on camera. But that's how filthy, filthy, dirty this <coughs> this is. Filled, I don't know, I'm having to scratch out of a screwdriver, which is not clever, so just use the top end of it. Um, but look, this is going to run so much better, and look the nuts. Stay with me. Okay, uh, you're supposed to see it all done. I've been on this bike solid three hours, I still haven't got from the variator and the clutch and the carburetor system. Um, I don't know what's worse. Is it worse someone having no idea or someone having half an idea? You know, so this was leaking, remember I said to you before about it, so rather than taking the screw out of here and sorting it out and putting it back in with a small washer, um, they tried to stop the leak by putting a very small nut bolt in the end of it. This wasn't on tight either and there's little lumps on it. So rather than rubbing it down, sorting out the new gasket, putting it on and stopping the leak, they half the job bob which then caused all the other problems. Inside the variator system, um, the clutch completely jammed on. I mean, I've got the nut off, and there was just bits of crap falling everywhere. Now, what I think's happened at some stage is the belt's broke. It's got a new belt on it. So the person who did this just slapped a new belt on, and off he went. It was a mess in there. There's bits of rubber, dust. I've got to literally spend nearly 20 minutes getting a puller, getting the clutch off. It was that thick underneath. You know, the pads are good, but it was just crap everywhere. So I've took it all out, wiped it, blown out, whole place full of dust everywhere. The very the same as, you see how bad that was. And um, the rubber gets so hot, it melts on little bits and then causes you more problems. So drudging, not top end. You've got to clean it all up. Otherwise, someone like me has to be doing all this now. So what I'm finding is little tacky bits everywhere. They've changed the auto choke. And rather than using a connector, they cut the wires and then put a bit of tape around them. You know, half a job, isn't it? You know, I don't know why you wouldn't have just put the connectors together rather than flaffing around and getting it wrong. And this had no fuel on it, which means that if you just put this bike up for a few or four days where it's leaking, you it wouldn't start. As long as you're riding it every day, you wouldn't be really noticed except petrol leaking out everywhere. With the price of it today. <laughs> you know, this is how I feel sometimes. Um, it's taken me ages. Uh, when I pull up sometimes at people's houses and I say, like, Tell about the bike and they go, oh yeah mate, one careful owner mate, yeah, there's no problems with it at all mate, you know, I was riding this last night mate, yeah it's great mate, you know, it's fine mate, that, that's how I feel, you know what I mean? I can't stress more, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. If you watch my videos and you get the income of doing it, then follow my videos. Have the tools simple. I got asked about lifting a petrol tank. You know, take the panels off, petrol tank off. Here's a little sender unit. This is in here, you twist this out, it comes out. Back here is a shock. Look how easy it is to get the shock. You don't have to take everything off like I've done, but that shock now for me is going to be off in minutes, literally. Where before you've got to try and get the spanners up and try and do this lot. Simple off. But there we have a bike with no panels on. They do look a bit wrong don't they you know here's all the parts and everything else that you get to and here's the headstock which i always talk about it's just under that little bit there that comes off as well but it's in there that's where you tighten it up from five screws on here these little connectors can be a well they're not actually they're nice piss easy take them off get a pair of pliers often to squeeze this wiggle straight off piss easy the mileage where it's supposed to be, I'm going to take these clocks out as well, and there are just a few screws in there. What a lot of people do is try and yank these up, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. There's four screws here, and one at the front, okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And that just comes up, and there's all your bits. Yeah, I said about this moving, two screws go in here, that stops this from doing that, just one screw there and one screw there, and that secures it, you know. There's supposed to be screws in here as well to secure it on. Just leaving these off causes your world of pain. 
because it's crap. Why have it bouncing around everywhere when you can just put four screws in there and it's all nice and secure? Definitely coming along, but something you don't often see me do is actually take the back wheel off and check these pads. Worth doing, and these are amazing. Give them a quick abrasive rub over. Fitting a white wheel, give that a clean inside there as well. It's satisfying, well worth doing, and something you don't notice after you've done it, but well worth doing. And give it a little bit of a clean up in here as well. Them pads, they're brilliant. Let's carry on. Except for the stand being slightly annoying, let's have a look round. Not speaking, am I? First time ever. You know what? It's not a bad little job, is it? Couple look round. Couple of little decals. 20k on the clock. Is that 15, something like that? Sword out shock, carburetor, the front wheels, nice checkered plates. That looks quite nice. I did just blow over the uh, exhaust. I think it was heat proof paint. It went over really nicely, to be honest with you. Starts. Stops. Yes, nice. Oh wait, and it's a dog. Many angles with a dog. <laughs> Good girl. There we have it. The last in a little collection of my videos. Hope you've enjoyed them. This is not bad now. Uh, 35 up the hill, 45 down the hill, and it kept pulling. Six grand rollers, definitely the way to go. Not nine and a half that win here. They'd. More so for a 100cc, but the 100cc rolls are bigger anyway, so they wouldn't have fit. I don't know why the person bought them. Uh, mistake. Pull away must have been absolutely crap. Now, it is running well. When I first test started it, it was splattery, 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 splattery. That's all the oil underneath. Has to get the good petrol through. Job done, and I'm happy to say, not a bad job. A few little marks around it, but it's going to have that. You know, not brand new Evo panels. Evo. <laughs> Evo panels, and uh, nicely decals that I've put on there as well, decals. Um, they were from the other little blue bike, so I just put them on, hence it's just got a speed fight, blue bit to the back, number one on the front. Uh, got Peugeot there massively, but unfortunately it's black, and I put a little black one here, you'll just about to see it. There's stealth and there's just a waste of time, isn't there? Right, that's it for this section. Thank you so much, please like, share and subscribe. My intentions next season will be big bikes. I intend to get a selection over the winter. I am not paying summer prices for bikes. And I'm not paying a thousand pound more than I paid for them three or four years ago. Just can't do that. So I'm gonna wait until Christmas time um, when the bikes sensibly pop up for the right price that need a new tire, servicing, uh, maybe down the road, whatever. I'm gonna buy five, 10 of them, fill the whole place up, and I'm gonna be doing them over the winter period and then probably next year you'll get a nice selection. There will be some other little videos popping out. I'm not going to completely stop because I'm a prolific uh, uploader. I don't know, what's that, 520 videos I must have now? I don't know. But the ones with border speed fights and, and mopeds, there's been a nice selection for you guys, but not so nice for the other people who don't like them and just like watching me be a fool. Right, I've said it again. I'll say it for the last time. Take care on the road, especially over the winter. Worry about E10 petrol. You're the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.